Okay guys, so I decided I will tell you uh, about my experience with uh, flying to Yunnan uh, stage race and what happened there, why I haven't been filming anything. The biggest mistake out there was to uh, ride to the bus station, uh, get the bus to the airport and then um, be hungry there. Um, the biggest problem with Chinese airports if you're a vegan is that it's so difficult to find um, you know a meal for you really in Chinese airports I, I that's what I found uh, and um, hold on like not, not only to find uh, a vegan meal but to find a good quality vegan meal so what I mean by that is uh, something without too much oil you know too much fat uh, without uh, you know for instance, even soups. Sometimes, if you order a vegetable soup, the um, you know the water they cook it in. It could be with uh, like some meat broth or something. So it's it's just it's just people don't really get the concept of uh, not eating meat, you know, here. So uh, what I did is I ordered a few dishes, um, and the only option I saw was to order uh, two cups of rice, you know, separate just white rice and a few uh, you know dishes of veggies just veggies cooked but uh, guys I, I just tried those dishes they were tasty definitely very oily um, some of were spicy you know which is uh, which I'm not used to at all um, and uh, what what happened you know so I had a meal um, and then about Two hours or three hours later I was still waiting for my plane and I had another meal in the in the other restaurant and actually another restaurant I went to before that uh, I ordered uh, a soybean sauce or something you know with uh, noodles you know it was that's what it said on the on the menu you know but then they gave me the pretty much pasta bolognese you know like with uh, soybean sauce uh, with lots of beef <laughs> I was like uh, yeah, I paid for it, but I didn't eat anything, and I just went to another restaurant. Um, so yeah, definitely ask about what's inside the meal, even if it says like, uh, if you see the name of the menu, uh, name of the dish, and it seems like it's uh, it's not including any animal products, but you never know. So yeah, uh, uh, so what happened? Like, I ate two meals uh, in the airport, and then. Um, yeah, we were boarding at the plane, on the plane, yeah, and then uh, on the plane it was okay, yeah, I felt fine, you know, and then we were landing, it was about maybe two hours later, and then I start feeling a bit, um, you know, dizzy, and also felt like, um, felt like I'm getting a bit, uh, what was the word, like a bit sick, like a bit cold, you know, in my body, which is, which was strange, and uh, like now I understand this, the, the symptoms were definitely like um, problems with the digestive tract and something like I ate something bad pretty much but at that time I just thought well I'm at the altitude of 2000 meters probably this is the reason and uh, yeah I just thought it was like 1 a.m. and I decided to to sleep you know so I just pretty much uh, was at the airport and uh, couldn't sleep properly, uh, started feeling, uh, you know, more and more of, uh, you know, like, like, like the real, the feeling of, um, I can, uh, hard to find the word in English, because I'm not, like, as you know, I'm not a native English speaker, so, like, the, the like, the feeling that you, you're about to vomit, you know, pretty much, but just a little bit, and it's, you know, it was increasing, uh, you know, during the, during the night, so, I uh, pretty much couldn't understand what was going on, but then maybe about three hours later at 4 a.m. I thought, well, probably it's really the case of eating that food because, uh, you know, it was pretty much clear that uh, it's not going well, you know. So I just decided um, to, try and, uh, to try and wait pretty much because I was just thinking, well, if I had a few, you know, cooked veggies and uh, uh, rice and stuff, and I, I couldn't, you know, like, uh, it couldn't affect my body that bad, you know, because uh, usually you cannot, um, uh, you won't feel that 
that's really terrible if you don't eat any animal products and stuff because it's very easy to to poison yourself with some uh, you know like you know animal food but it's a lot harder with just vegetables so I guess the reason was that my body uh, is not used to all those sauces that they were adding to uh, to the dish and uh, at 7 a.m. <laughs> I pretty much rushed uh, rushed to the toilet and uh, started uh, vomiting you know and uh, <laughs> tried to do it a bit more um, carefully you know so people in the restrooms couldn't hear but then uh, I felt uh, much better about uh, half an hour later and then I boarded to my and then I went to the bus pretty much to the center of the city you know and then to to my hotel so like the bus trip is like 50 minutes I guess and uh, what I felt was in the bus as, as, as soon as we started moving I felt like I'm about to vomit again and I was like damn man and I know that if you want to avoid it, you can you, you can pretty much start breathing, you know, deeply, <sighs> like this. And um, it will definitely help to to calm down this feeling, you know. So it, it worked. Uh, about 15 minutes again uh, later, again I started feeling a huge, terrible uh, feeling. I wanted to vomit, you know, again. And uh, about five minutes before we arrived, I pretty much um, I was sitting uh, last, maybe because bus was pretty much empty but then I went to the last uh, seat you know and it, and and uh, pretty much was expecting the worst <laughs> and it happened really um, so like I just felt like it's impossible to hold hold it you know anymore and uh, I just vomited on the on the ground <laughs> uh, and uh, so why I went to the last seat you know so then I can change the seat and um, you know the it won't be obvious that it was me you know <laughs> Uh, but then, <laughs> after we arrived, it was actually like two minutes, uh, yeah, uh, before we arrived. And then uh, we arrived. I rushed to the to my bike box and just went. Out, uh, from, from the <laughs> oh, it's just so embarrassing. But you know, I just couldn't. Uh, I couldn't even explain myself because people don't speak English, and it would be probably, you know, a bit, <laughs> a bit. I don't know. Like, a, it it would be a bit. Uh, a bit terrible to try to explain myself to the driver and probably he would be very mad and stuff so yeah uh, I'm, I'm a bit embarrassed with this but it was nothing I could do really um, so the yeah don't eat it at uh, Chinese airports like you can I think you can eat but there is really limited uh, limited possibility to find good food I would uh, rather prefer buying anything in the local stores maybe something you you're really familiar with even though it might not be the the best food maybe like a bit of a junk like um, cookies like oreos and stuff maybe some <clears throat> yeah something like soy milk you know some some cookies some bread maybe um, like just read the ingredients if you can uh, but yeah something you're really familiar with it's it's a big mistake to try and order something out there in the restaurants and uh, yeah and I went to two different restaurants you know it's just impossible to control uh, and it can f it can actually freak you out very badly because the next day I felt like like just you know I was about to to I don't know uh, to give up the racing because it was the day before the race so yeah don't do that guys stick to something you're familiar with and also I thought probably it would be better to even bring some food with me even though it could be a, a bit of a hustle to carry the backpack uh, to ride it with my backpack to the bus stop for 30 k's but it would be a lot easier for me for instance to bring some dried fruits and maybe some grapes and stuff so definitely huge mistake so it's it's the it's my you know it's my take on it like my experience what I what I learned so definitely if you have some important um, event you know or like I mean for me it's cycling related don't uh, don't fuck it up <laughs> with the mistake like you know eating something you're completely unknown what's inside you know and then just feeling like terrible you know just stick to something you're familiar with so this is the biggest biggest um, lesson and my take on it so 
yeah I'm about to go buy some food and uh, go back to my hotel and enjoy it after a pretty nice and hard day of riding so yeah tomorrow is the UC stage um, so yeah maybe I will record a few more videos today um, so yeah we'll see anyway thank you for watching see you in the next one